welcome back to my channel you all um if you're new here i'm deja corinne welcome if you're not new here you know the vibes so today we are starting a painting and we're going to try to work on it from start to finish and by start to finish i mean from the drawing to as far as i can get done tonight so we're going to stay up tonight all right um yeah so i'm gonna give you a list you guys are gonna follow along okay and we're gonna paint together or you're gonna watch and eat something good preferably drink some water and let's get into the video okay so first we obviously need our canvas you can pick any size of your choosing i like to go with the 36 by 48 inches one or the three by four feet one and i typically get my canvases from michael's or hobby lobby <laughs> it's funny now where's my car <laughs> I like to mood board the painting and pull up the reference on my iPad. Um, typically, I'll go on Pinterest and find a few pictures and portraits that kind of match the vibe of the painting that I'm going for, just so I have like a big overall like reference and picture to go back to. <laughs> I also put some of my favorite shows on while working. Sometimes it's just quiet and sometimes it's just music, but today it's adventure time. And starting out, I like to use a colored pencil to sketch. I typically go for like a red or a blue colored pencil, sometimes purple, but this is really your choice. Um, sometimes I use just like a lead pencil. It really doesn't matter, whatever your preference. Oh, what are you doing on the floor, you bad baby? Okay, so working on the sketch still. Um, yeah, it's it's a process, babes. It does not look like magic overnight. Um, no one's to say it looks like magic at all, but yeah. Let, let's just get back into it because I can't stand it looking like this. So. Jake, get out of my fruit, man. It's a new day and we are back on this painting. Um, so not all in one day. Let's try to get this as far as we can get it done. I'm gonna try to cover as much of the canvas as I can for you guys and talk about my process just a little bit. To the point where I'm happy enough with, if it'll focus, I'm happy enough with the sketch. Um, yeah, I could start painting at any time now, but I want to clean it up a little bit, especially around the ear um, and the earring. Okay, at this point I've erased and then redrawn so much that it's not going to get any better in my opinion. So I'm just going to paint and work around whatever needs to be fixed, but the proportions are pretty good right now. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting. So just in case you didn't know, I am an oil painter, so I am using oil paints. Um, I'm trying to make the switch into using Gamblin primarily, but as of right now, it's probably a good 50-50 mix or maybe 60-40 using Windsor Newton oil paint and Gamblin.
this series I'm working on really does mean a lot to me. Um, for the paintings I have in this series, I took all the pictures myself of people that I know. So it's just really close to home and it's a concept I've had in mind for a while and it's really nice watching it all come to life and just be put together. When working on the hair, I really wish that I had some thinning medium just to cover more of the canvas easier. Um, oil paint is really thick if you didn't know, and that's why a lot of people, um, I'm not going to say struggle to work with it, but maybe stray away from it a bit just because acrylic is a lot easier to thin with water, but you can't thin it with water obviously because oil and water don't mix. So I kind of wish I had a thinning medium here just so I would have covered more of the hair area. As you can probably tell from most of my work, I am in love with portraiture. Um, normally when starting a painting, I like to work from the eyes and then move my way out. But yeah, it's just something so beautiful, I think, and interesting about capturing someone's essence on canvas. And if you guys have any questions or you want me to go a little bit more in depth about my process, just let me know. I'm self-taught and still learning, but I'd be more than happy for us to learn together. So just let me know in the comments or hit me on one of my socials in the comments, anything like that. I think this is about as far as we're gonna get for this video i'm gonna revisit this painting next monday anyways i'm gonna revisit a few of them next monday so i will be sure to record that for you guys really all that's left is the hair um but i have to let the painting dry anyways and oil paint takes quite some time to dry if you didn't know so i need to add on another layer once this first one is a little touch dry um but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you around